Good morning. I'm Scott Weber with the Village of Hanover Park. I am the Streets and Forestry Supervisor. Um, I'm just starting or finishing my 30th year here with the Village. Uh, good morning. I'm Rob Louth. I'm the Fleet Service Manager here at Hanover Park. Um, I'm 15 years in as a mechanic and I've been a Fleet Manager for the last almost three. Rob and I were asked to do a talk here this morning on segmented blades. Uh, we at the Village of Hanover Park got into this about five years ago and um, what actually brought us to this was the wear and the breakage of the blades. Uh, we've noticed a lot of uneven wear on the mild carbon steel blades, hence we had poor cleaning, uh, we trailed a lot of snow, and we had a lot of repairs. Uh, we also noticed that there was an awful lot of vibration and noise uh, which re relates to the fatigue for the drivers. Um, and we had great hopes of reducing that. Um, and with the cleaning, uh, the better cleaning, leaving less material, less tracking, uh, we would be using less salt. That's our ultimate goal. Like Scott said, we've been using these blades for about five years now. And there was a bit of a hesitation with an initial investment on them because they are more expensive. We use Polar Flex brand one foot segmented blades on our front plows. The package price for one plow is approximately $2,700 uh, versus about $850 for a setup like what you see there with a steel blade and two carbide pieces. What we've learned is, uh, and what we're continuing to learn, is these blades are far outlasting what the steel blades were. We were forced to replace steel blades um, not just because they just were old and wore out, but because they would wear at uneven rates, one side might be thinner than the other, maybe a section in the middle gets broken, maybe they break off a corner piece. We had to replace those that $850 set a couple times a year on each truck. And if something minor broke on a plow, uh, maybe the uh, carbide piece broke on the end. Or for example, on this truck, the center of the blade is an inch thinner than the two edges. Once that point got too thin, I'm forced to replace all the pieces as a set. I can't replace just one corner piece or just the blade because they all have to be the same height. Uh, with the Polar Flex setup, it was sold to us as one of the selling points was if you hit a manhole and if you damage the blade and you break a section, you can replace just one tooth. But knock on wood, we haven't had to do that yet. Our replacement on these, the only, the only issues, the only items we've had to replace is the corner piece will wear out. It is not a carbide blade saver, it's just a corner piece. And it can be replaced without replacing the blade. It does not need to be replaced as a set. All right, so this is a, just as an example for uneven wear on a steel blade. If I measure the middle of the blade, it's two and a half inches from a reference point. And if I measure from the outside edge of the blade, it's three and a half inches from the same reference point. And it's the same on the other side. Once this blade is ready to be replaced, um, I'm essentially going to be throwing away two $350 carbide pieces because they can't be reused on a new blade because of height difference. This is a perfect example of something that uh, is going to cost us $850 to repair during the season, and yet we did not get full life out of that blade. So for an example, the, the same issue with this Polar Flex plow, this is our newest plow. Uh, it went through last winter, it has approximately a thousand miles of uh, plow time on it. If I measure from a reference point on this one, I'm an inch and a half, inch and a half, and inch and a half. And if we took a brand new section and slid it up into where that one's been removed, it will measure identically the same inch and a half. Uh, so with 850 miles to 1,000 miles on it, we're showing absolutely zero wear on the part. All right, so we, these are one foot segmented blades. Um, and as you know, we were originally sold on these as they could be repaired in one section. We've had five years and we have yet to take out a section until this presentation. So uh, we pulled sections out of three of our trucks, um, the same section from the same places on this truck, and we were actually quite surprised at what we saw. 
we're trying to gauge the life of this plow system and how long we expect it to last. And um, our oldest truck, which is four years old, has 5,500, roughly 5,500 plowing miles on it. Our newest truck, uh, this one right here, has a little under 1,000 miles on it. So you can see this is what a new blade looks like, a brand new section. And this is what a section looks like after 1,000 miles. And this is what a section looks like after 5,000 miles. All right, this is just another example of 5,500 miles, brand new, 825 miles. Those segments look virtually identical. Okay, so this is the comparison of a brand new segment with a segment that has over 5,000 miles on it, 5,000 plowing miles. As you can see, the mild steel has worn off uh, just due to the angle attack of the plow, but the actual carbide in the center is still roughly the almost the exact same height as it was when it was new. This is a comparison of a 5,000 miles of plowing versus a little under 1,000 miles of plowing. Again, they wear off the edge based on the angle of the attack of the plow of the steel, but if you notice the carbide center is again just about the exact same height and there's 4,000 miles difference between those two segments. So what we're learning is we were hoping for a usable life of these of about four times what a mild steel blade would be. Um, this, we're learning this is probably going to be six plus times the life of a mild steel blade. The results that we achieved over five years of studying is that with the segmented blade, which has the ability to move up and down compared to a fixed blade uh, that would wear uneven. We are able to clean the roadway better. Uh, this one could possibly leave anywhere between a half inch and an inch of snow in the middle of the road, which would require extra passes or extra salt. Uh, this blade that runs smooth, stays flat, because it does move up and down, uh, will clean much better, uh, less passes, less salt used. Uh, Rob spoke earlier about longer life indicating we're hoping now to be six to one. Uh, this blade here set up is just under $1,000. If we replace six of those, it's about $6,000 plus labor, plus extra material uh, in inventory, uh, handling the blade, safety concerns, compared to 2,700 bucks for this. So we're anticipating a huge savings over the life of the blade. Uh, and if we get even higher numbers than six to one, we will be uh, reaping the benefits even greater. Um, one of the things that I was really shocked with was the reduction of noise and vibration. Um, my operators can go out in this truck today. <clears throat> they'll put the blade down on the ground and we run belly blades. And this one has a sectional belly blade in it as well. Uh, very similar to this, but by a different company. Um, they will adjust their blades continually because they don't hear them. So with that being said, we did some studies. Um, on our very first trucks before we went to sectional blades, we were getting about 100 decibels inside the, inside the cab of the truck. That was with a mild steel blade, mild steel underbody, and carbide end pieces and carbide wear plates. Uh, 100 decibels at 15 minutes is permissible exposure time limit. That means anything over 15 minutes, you're actually you're damaging your hearing. When we went to a Polar Flex front blade and a carbide underbody system, we were able to lower that number from 100 to 90. Uh, 90 gives you two hours of permissible time before you're doing any damage. Now with this truck set up exactly the way it is, with the Polar Flex nose blade and a Tuca underbody, which is also a rubber mounted uh, blade system on our, on our belly blades, we reduced the level to 80 decibels inside the cab. And with 80 decibels, that gives the operator 12 hours of permissible exposure without any damage to his hearing. So that was a huge benefit, uh, safety for our operators. Just the fatigue of that grinding noise for 12, 14, 16 hours is incredible. It really beats a driver up. 
And again, when these guys get in this truck, they put those blades down and they have to adjust them periodically because it seems like they are not even on the ground. Huge, huge benefit. Um, and again, the, the, the dollar figure savings. I'm anticipating somewhere between three and $4,000 in savings between the two units over the life of the unit. In the future, we're moving forward. Every truck will come with a sectional plow blade uh, that is encapsulated in rubber. The mounting system is in rubber, which is the, the best part about the reduction of vibration and the noise level. Uh, we were gonna continue to move forward with these. And um, that's about all we have. Uh, we would love to take your questions.